NFL 23 on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. All that and more coming up next on EA Sports. Well, you folks at home can see the evidence. Snow and supposedly a few inches yet to fall here at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gordon on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes? Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part, what's the footwear you got on? Does that fit the turf you're playing on? And how will it handle as things get a little bit slick? The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. This will be fielded inside the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now, for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts got the green light as a starter from the Philly organization and took really good steps as the next in line of mobile quarterbacks in the city, following names like Michael Vick, Donovan McNabb, and Randall Cunningham. He led the team in all quarterbacks in the NFL in rushing, and he took Philadelphia into the postseason while throwing for over 3,000 yards. So first and 10 now from the 30. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. And the Big stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Hurt sets up to throw it. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play on the football. First and ten at Sanders. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Throwing his hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to make it fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them. And they fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. 
The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Well, trying to be bold on the opening drive of the game, but that effort, it proves futile. How many times have we talked with coaches where they've talked about taking the emotion out of their decision-making? I think that opening drive, if he didn't have it in his head to go. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. Sterling Shepard, 49 yards. And the Giants will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. You always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And it's now a 7-0 game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And last time they were stopped on fourth down, had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this go around. I'm eager to see what their mindset is because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down, do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they've got something for us? Or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves. Let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense, a little more confidence? I think as a defense, you're so excited with a fourth down stop. Making a punt, that's your goal anyway. But a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect that they went for it in the first place. And when you get that, you feel great about yourselves. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. A very nice job right there, working the middle of the field, able to create some separation and then utilize it to not just make the catch, but turn up field once he got the ball in his hands. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. He's going deep for Brown. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Fires the quick slant, A.J. Brown's got it. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Julian Love picks it. And the Giants will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. And this might not be the last interception we see, Brandon. Both of these teams like to throw the football, but here in this snow, ball's not going to always go where you want it to. And this one winds up getting intercepted. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Throwing Jones. He's got Bellinger. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. After one, seven, nothing. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. To throw again on second down. Jones. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. 
Well, so much of playing quarterback in the snow comes down to trying not to do too much. You've got to just keep telling yourself, throws downfield, we've run every day in practice all year. But guess what? They suddenly become more difficult. And this one gets away from him and winds up an interception. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And trying to get it to his tight end, Rodgers, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Blake Martinez. Now Jones. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get it back here just past the 35. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? The Eagles offense back out getting set for this next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Another run with Sanders. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. The Eagles on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been scoring a little bit. On first and 10, it's Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progressions, you either throw on the touchdown or you throw on the check down. But earlier in the game, it was tough. And Hurts has intercepted his third of the game. Picked by Julian Love. And the Giants are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. Meanwhile, Jones' throw caught by Tony. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Giants. Kadarius Tony, 79 yards. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, and this is one of the best runs you'll see. A lot of times on these long touchdowns, you'll see he gets into the end zone untouched, but not here. He fought his way through contact, and it barely even registered, and he just continued down the field all the way to the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. 
As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover that played it on the last one. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak, and while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close, but the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. Throwing again on second and ten. Hurts. Now that's complete to Sanders. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Uh, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Hurry, hurry. But first down, Hurts. And the Giant rush gets home as down he goes. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the O-line and recorded the sack. And this offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call through the offensive coordinator. You like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Oh, the sneak. It's Hurts. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. A reminder that coming up in two minutes time, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Hurts. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. To throw on second and ten. Hurts. Got a man. It's Brown. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. He'll drop to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Blake Martinez. And the Giants are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. Jones throw pulled in by Robinson here. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Only needing two yards on second down. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. This one hauled in, and again it's Robinson. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. 
This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the pass on defense. Yeah, no question. He got to the QB late CD, oh, and that's going to get flag every time. Every single time. Because let's face it, the league is always going to have an emphasis on these calls. They want to take care of these. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back of the 16-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Now Jones. Oh, and Jones has just thrown his third interception. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. So what a play there in the final minute of this first half. They get the interception. More importantly, their first points of the ball game. Yeah, and that one play certainly changes the outlook, doesn't it? I mean, they're looking at going into the locker room. No points on the board. Not playing well defensively. Deflated. And now, things may have changed for them. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And that one makes it 14 to 7. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, time for a check of the next-gen stats from that first half for the Giants. And they've had plenty of success throwing the football so far this afternoon as they're on pace to throw for over 300 yards if their form holds. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, we check on their numbers on the ground in the first half as they know they'll need to be better to overcome this halftime deficit. You'd have to imagine, given the snowy condition, lots to talk about at halftime for these two coaching staffs. Plenty of decisions to be made for this second half for sure. And for the call, we hand it back over to Brandon God. Indeed, Coach. Thanks very much. And that snow you alluded to showing no signs of stopping, at least in the foreseeable future. This snow front that has socked much of the East Coast not going away as we are back to it in the second half. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. But the focus shifts back to Daniel Jones and company. And it was somewhat of a strange first half. He threw three interceptions, yet you look at the scoreboard, they've got the lead. So you know what I think he did at the half? He stood up in front of the team, especially in front of the defense, and said, thank you. Appreciate what you've done. You guys have picked me up in a big way. And guess what? I'm going to get back to being who I am, which is pretty darn good. Let's go play the second half. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the former Giant, James Bradbury. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting, you and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And they'll take over here following the interception with a chance to tie the ball game. It's first and 10. Ready. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he is gonna lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll go again with Sanders. Down to about the 22 here. 
Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'm guaranteeing he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Julian Love picks it. And the Giants are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Yes, folks, that is his third interception. And I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because there is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. Well, he made that catch knowing full well that at the end of it, he's going to catch a pretty good lick. I guess if there's anyone on this team that can absorb a pop, it's him. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Jones, and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. I don't care what the scoreboard says, partner. You know who's winning this game right now? Mother Nature? Yes, <laughs> indeed. Precipitation's winning in a big way. Sloppy, sloppy. All these turnovers right now. Yeah, well, this was the forecast. We got what was forecasted, and we've gotten a lot of turnovers. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And yeah, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to, how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. On oh, second and nine, Hurts. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know what he thinks going on out there, CD. That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house. But, boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves kick-started. To throw on second and six. Hurts. Open. Man, he's got it. That's Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Eagles take advantage of the field position on the turnover to cash in for six. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Elliott Good with a PAT, and we are tied at 14. 
The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. I think he's still shaking his head a little. It was his fumble on the previous drive that led to the touchdown that has his time. And sometimes it's worse on a runner who drops it like that to watch the other team take the ball downfield and score than maybe if they just returned it right away. You know what I mean? Because sometimes what happens that fast, you're right back out on the field. Instead, he had to watch it happen. Let's see if it affects him going forward the rest of the game. A pretty good looking run there on first down. That'll go for nine yards, just short of the line to gain. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Back to throw. Jones. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. Seven yards there at a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. On first and ten, Jones to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. From the 44, Jones, it's hauled in by Shepard. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first, and it'll bring up third down now. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. All square, 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the fourth quarter. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Flush to his right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. First target, first catch, and a first down. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Hurt sets up to throw it. It's caught. Smith. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. the sneak it's hurts and yeah, they will touch him down but not before he gets the first give him two on the play there and the eagles are going to have a first down i don't know about 
you, but I like this call. Third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front, just go ahead and take it, move forward, and pick up the first down. And as we say often, shows confidence in your offensive line. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. 49 yards on the ground for him so far. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Another run here with Sanders. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there. And now it's third down and inches. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Okay, a field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Oh, the sneak. It's hurt. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Given the snow, you'd have to think they're likely not in field goal range just yet as they come up on a critical third down. Oh, the sneak. It's Hurts. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Running right, here's Sanders. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Throwing his hurts. And this one is incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Oh, man, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Now, whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. They'll run with Sanders. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at 3 in the lead. So how worried are you about the 6? You're not very worried about if you're confident in your kicker. And that's a touchdown as they broke it our tie here in the final minute of the third. Well, any thoughts about overtime have ended at this juncture. That touchdown puts them up six. I would imagine they'll kick the extra point now and rely on their defense. They rely on their defense. So a little bit of time left on the clock here in the fourth, but they got to feel good now. And that is off the left upright. It's no good.
Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. So now Jones and the Giants down 20 to 14, 26 seconds to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Now, quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. This defense so strong all afternoon long, well executed again there. This is a group that really functions well off of each other. No matter what the assignment, the other person fills it in the exact proper spot. They've made it very, very hard for them to find open places to throw the football. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He dumps it off to Barkley. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.